we've got a score of 25 here d 25 here which is people and 15 and 15 here um so this profile kind of give you um, your your score on two dimensions the first dimension if i would draw it out um, there are people who are people oriented um, they would like to know how people are feeling they are more concerned with feeling of people some people are task oriented these are the people who would want to get work done through people so what happened to nobody they, they won't care as to how is your mood um, one question is gonna be is the work done or not so these are um, these this is one dimension the other dimension of people is whether i am extrovert or introvert so these this side of people they are extrovert they would like to work with people outgoing they would talk and work with people and this side of the personalities are reserved personalities um, given any task they this side of people would want to work as a standalone uh, person so um, think about individual contributors and so on so let's look at how does my score tells me as what am i so it looks like i am more outgoing in nature hmm, i'm planning a party out and i'm planning to go out sometimes uh, next week so maybe i'm in that kind of zone right now it changes as i told you it changes with time it changes with the task you're doing it changes so at this point of time i'm in this zone and this is my score so let's talk about a personality type which is d so i need to look at both the personality which um, is significant in my scores which is d and i um, and i want you to pay attention to your personality types and pick out two you know which is your dominant trait so let's look at d what does d signify so d's motto is i want to get it done and i want to get it done right now my mom is like that so dominance the emphasis is on accomplish the result so these characteristics these are strong willed people they would get the work done they cause action they ask people to do things um, they do not like people to stand up to them so um, you know think about a class teacher principal um, they are problem solver they focus on immediate result and needs variety they don't like to do repetitive task how do we communicate with people so you only hear voices coming out from their mouth and typical d style of people you're gonna see people just dictating their terms um, so d talks to people and does not hear back um, no discussions very blunt insensitive very insensitive um, they want to win at any cost so these if you are a high high d this could be your weakness so be aware about these weaknesses um, how do you if you are a d how do you work um, you you would like to have an a position of power and authority prestige you need people to give answer directly you do not want people to go round and round circles you say speak it out um, microsoft has this um, a training on precise questioning and precise answering and we used to generally laugh about one person that this guy has really done this training and is apt for it um, so one of my boss was really good in precise questioning precise answering no smiles nothing and he used to get his job done so these are tr typical traits of a d um, they can handle wide scope of operations they can do a lot they are very focused um, they are very good in getting the work done so accomplishment for themselves and um, they like to do a lot many things so that is what D would aspire for let's talk about i um, a typical i would have a lot of feelings so let me tell you what happened to me you know they want to share so this is an i trait 
the motto of an eye is they want to influence and persuade people rather than saying do this do that they, they don't want to say do this do that they would want to give rationale and let people do things themselves um, they are optimistic in nature yellow uh, people oriented they want people to recognize them so social recognition is a must um, the basic fear they have is rejection I don't know if you know an I but if you put down an I I would not be able to sleep if you put down a D D might yell back at you it would not hurt them as much as I would be hurt um, under pressure or under a lot of work they get disorganized they would I know an I I used to, I think I was a high D at that point of time and not an I. I, I never used to talk to people a lot. And I had to take a handover from this person. I was the technical project manager. This guy was also technical project manager. And we were walking towards lunch. And this guy is like, oh, Kavita, you know this, you know that. And we were walking from fourth floor to, I think, sixth floor. And he said, Kavita, why don't we go through this floor? I need to meet a guy. It took us 15 minutes to reach the next floor. And we were still not at the lunch floor. So I told this guy, because he was talking to a lot many people. Everybody was talking to him and he was talking to all the other people. And I was like, oh my God, would we ever go to lunch or not? So I was a, being a high D, it, I found it very irritating. Um, but this guy was like soul of everybody. People loved him. Um, so because there's so much of social love around, um, you might not focus on getting the work done, wherein a D would really want to get the work done. So there would be a lot of key differences between D and I. If D is the boss and I is a person working under a D, it's a bad situation for an I. So let's look at what are I characteristics. Um, very good communicator. They talk a lot. They are persuasive, motivating, encouraging. They are impulsive. They are a very good leader. If they are at dominating position, they the people would love them because they are people focused. Um, good sense of humor, creative, emotional, they might cry in front of you as well. How would I speak? What are their communication styles? They love to talk. So they sell, they inspire, they, they, they are very good with words. Um, they want to talk a lot. But this guy has a lot of things to talk. Depth is missing. Um, so details, if you start asking a lot of questions with from an eye, they might not know the details of all those questions. Um, they don't want to get into difficult topics. Um, they are very good in giving you feedbacks. Good in, good in conversation, right? Weaknesses, because they want to talk a lot. They want to take care of everybody. They may be careless, undisciplined, forget rules. They are too busy to please the other people. Um, so may not be time conscious. Um, they are good with people. So if they do not get the work done, they try to shift the responsibility of the mistakes. Um, they do not listen to people. Listen only when convenient. Um, so that's an I. Preferred I environment. They would want to be the party, soul of the party, um, social recognition, public. So these these are good PR people. They would want to be around people. Um, no controls. If they do not have any control or detail-oriented tasks, they feel very nice. Um, a good field for them would be wherein they meet a lot of people uh, talk to them about various subjects so coaching and counseling um, good conditions wherein they meet people be happy that is what an i would prefer let's talk about ns so while i'm speaking about all these personality i hope you are able to find out that i person in your group 
or that D person from your group. Identify them because I have a task coming up for you. So let's talk about an S. S. So who are these people? These are the backbone of any company, any group. Uh, you might not see them at the forefront, the eye sparkle and charm or these dominance, but they are there to get the work done. Um, so their motto is, we are all in this, let's work together as a team. So these are the strength of uh, the entire group. So steadiness is their motto. They cooperate with others to get the task done. Uh, people in the background, these are the people who get the job done. So if you if you are a D or an I like me, you might have a husband who might be an S. Um, so or if you are if you are a wife to an I or D, you might be yourself an S. So most of the time they make a great pair, you know, husband and wife, even in the team. So let's look at what is an S. They are consistent performers, not very high, not very low. They work um, team oriented. They want to be treated equal by everyone. They do not want change. If your your husband is an S and he on Sundays want to get get up, have his own coffee, relax. If you give him a task that we want to go out shopping today, they would not like it. So no change, you know, it has to be a routine. They like routine. Under pressure, they would say, okay, I'll do whatever you would want me to do. Tell me what do I do? They don't have their own opinion. So they would do whatever somebody else asked them to do. Uh, characteristics, they are thorough, loyal, they are predictable, they understand, they listen. These are the people, you know, who would get into a room if a D is uh, dominating everybody and saying, why don't we do this? You guys are no good, no use. And S going to go try and put in some kind of joke, uh, look at other people, bring in water or tea to everybody and ask them, you know, be, be a group. So they are understanding, they are dependable, they are consistent. That's an S. So what is S communication style? They don't talk, so they listen. So S is at the listening part of the word. Somebody else is talking and they just listen. So that is what an S is. Um, answers when they are asked, they are calm, systematic, they only talk when there are um, issues and when they know what is the issue. They are more of one-on-one -on -one, uh, people to talk. They do not want to, you know, um, go to the mic and start uh, discussion or start off a topic. They would talk quietly one-on-one. -on -one. Weaknesses, they do not want change. They, want, they are routine people. They do not want change. Uh, take time to adjust to change. They are sometimes pessimistic. Um, they would pick up all the work, you know, and I would come and tell them, hey, please do this for me. They would do it. Um, they would say, hey, you need to do it. They would go ahead and do it. Um, so they are the people, S are the people, they need to say no to people. They need to learn how to say no. Um, because they are the backbone, they rarely talk. So, you know, it is very difficult to understand what are they feeling right now. So they need to express their feelings. Um, most of the wives who are D or I have problems with S husband because S husband do not take them out for lunch or do not take them out for picnic or they do not plan any outing. So the S guy needs to take initiative. What is preferred S environment? Um, they would want to be treated equal, a predictable routine, a credit for whatever work they have done. No, you know, they want a safe, nice, happy life. 
um, appreciation, sincere appreciation, not like an I appreciation. Um, within the group, they should be identified and they, they avoid conflicts. They do not stand up for any view. They are very like lenient in their views. So that is what an S is. Um, so can you think of S? I think a lot of times you would be able to find out uh, there are a lot many S around you and it's a good thing. If you have a lot many Ds around you, you're going to find that environment really um, volatile. So S uh, gives that kind of stability to an environment. They, they are their glue in the entire environment. Let's look at C. What is C? So have you seen this guy who would come to you and say, can you give me documentation? Can you tell me where have you read this? Can you be more precise? These are the C people. Um, so C, the mantra is, they want to talk about quality and accuracy. Analytical, they want details task oriented so remember that paradigm wherein one side is people oriented the other side is task oriented they want to know how much work is done um, motivated by correctness and quality so they would check each detail in depth basic fear nobody should criticize their work so because they are depth oriented data oriented um, so they really want to be correct. So let's look at common C's characteristics. Um, this guy wants to be precise, perfectionist, um, is polite sometimes, organized, um, quiet and reserved, not people focused, right? He's an introvert, um, self-competitive, wants to outdo himself or herself. How do they prefer? They would prefer to write rather than speak um, if you put in an i with an with a c it's going to be disaster because i would give him stories like you know c is going to ask you why are you late and i going to give you story you know what i started off from my home and tire broke down and c is not interested at all they don't have time they want details and c is going to get really really frustrated with an i um c needs details um may lose essentials at the top because they have gone into details um they do not want to talk about opinions they want data they do not want to see, you know if somebody if c is your boss and someone comes him and tells him this is what we should do because i feel like it it is like, you know, what are you talking? C is going to say, do you have some data about it? And then I going to say, no, I feel like it. There's nothing called feeling. You need to tell me why should we do it? So that's the conversation. Um, he would not give orders. He's going to look at a compliance book. So for a C, it is typically like this. When a C becomes a boss, first of all, he's going to create a compliance book or a book a rule book or something like that. And then as and when people are going to do some work, he would not say that you should not be doing this. He would refer people to go and look at the compliance book and go by that. So that's what a C going to do. Um, C's weaknesses because he's not direct, he or she is not direct. It is not, they are not inspiring. They avoid risk. Um, I know this guy, he is, he has immense information. Um, when he gets into detail, he gets into a lot of details. So he needs to buy a car, but he would not be able to buy a car. We know that for sure. His wife ultimately need to take a decision and buy the car for him because she would avoid getting into taking decisions, which others going to criticize him later. So he or she going to avoid risk. Um, analysis paralysis this is what I was talking about you know they have so much of data they are not able to take decisions uh, they need to loosen up I like this guy when he's slightly drunk and then laughing and smiling 
um, they do not delegate well because they are so good in their own analysis in their own mind they do not want other people to do, do their work preferred sees environment um, they need to be in control um, they need to tell other people what is their expectations um, they want to be at such an environment the environment where quality and accuracy matters for example quality um, functions doctors as i told you and people should be able to recognize their skills and accomplishment they feel happy when people tell them that you are wikipedia or you know so much they feel nice about that so this is all about how does a c i d n s behaves so who are you identify yourself understand whether does it matter is it true or not so find out yourself the other thing which you need to do is so this is understanding of self the other thing which i want you to do is find out one person which is d in your group find out another person which is s in your group a third person which is an i and a fourth person which is a c in your group look at wh- what are your relationship with those people pick out the relationship which is not going so good and then for the next 7 days improve on the relationship by ensuring that you communicate right with understanding their style and behaving the way you should behave with a d or with an s or with an i or with a c so write down the names here of the people who are d's who are s who are i and who are c by this time you would know in your group who is what 